Now, here's Paul with the weather. And Ben, what a change we've had since the weekend. We've gone from unseasonable warmth to almost winter-like cold and rain. Farmers are rejoicing with the arrival of the autumn break over much of the state. This bright green area here shows 25 to 50 millimetres. Swan Hill had 48 millimetres to 9am, its biggest one-day fall for more than four years, and another 20 since then as that rain swept further east. Since 9am, the uh, highest total has been 40 millimetres at Upper Buckland. The rain cloud kept it from getting too cold overnight. Hamilton's 10, the lowest out of the mountains, and cool today, although it got to 21 at Gabo Island and Malakuta in the east. Most of Melbourne's gardens had 15 to 20 millimetres of rain overnight and another 5 to 15 since 9am, 18 millimetres today at Northcote. It was also our chilliest day so far this year. We scraped up to 15.8 at 11.55 this morning, and now it's back to 14 degrees. It was also a cold day down in Hobart, but Sydney made it 29 degrees and a sunny 25 across in Perth. Now, a northwest cloud band brought the moisture from the Indian Ocean right across to Victoria, then deposited rain. It will move away tomorrow with the pressure trough. This cold front you can see is pretty weak. It won't have much effect on us here, and that high will stay west of us until the weekend, then pass to the south of us. No more cold fronts coming up for Victoria right through, so that means not much more rain. Tomorrow in Adelaide and Canberra, there'll be more Morning showers in Hobart, late showers, but dry in Perth, Sydney, and Brisbane. Back home, that rain in the east and northeast will clear overnight, and tomorrow just a shower or two in the south and around the coast, clearing by the evening. There'll be some patchy morning fog over inland areas, and just a little bit warmer than it was today in most spots. On the bay, a northwest to southwesterly wind at 15 to 25 knots, strong winds on the central and Gippsland coasts. Well, most of the showers are now clearing through Melbourne's east, down to 10 overnight, 19 tomorrow, 3 degrees warmer than today. We could still have a shower or two mostly late in the morning and into the afternoon. Cloudy Thursday, a slight chance of a morning shower, 17. Friday, 18 and partly cloudy. Then a run of dry days and getting warmer Saturday and Sunday, partly cloudy with light winds. And Anzac Day Monday, 10 for the dawn service, then a partly cloudy 20 to Ben. Thanks, Paul. And that's it for this evening's Bulletin. Lee Sales is next with 7.30.